Let's make a, a switch point for a turnout using the, uh, the point form tool. Um, I've got a number six point form tool here, number six medium, uh, code 70, and that's uh, what I'm going to use, piece of code 70. And I'm going to make one uh, for, this, for this turnout that I'm working on here. I've already got the stock rail just sitting in place. So I want to uh, cut a piece of rail to length and file the switch point on the end. Um, there's a, on the end of the, uh, of the switch points, the rail is tapered and that allows it to sit tight against the diverging stock rail. And you can see how as that diverges away, this rail blends into it nice and smooth. And getting that nice sharp taper on the rail makes the turnout very reliable. There's nothing in here for it to pick. You can see where that, that closes up nice on both directions there. And the trick to doing that is using the, the, uh, the point form tool. So I'm just going to nip off a piece of rail here. I'll just cut it a bit longer than I need. Set that piece aside. And by using these tools, uh, this uh, rail cutting tool, it actually cuts the rail nice and sharp on one side. Um, so you want to make sure that you have the clean, uh, a clean, sharp piece of rail. It makes it easier to get into the tool. If this has been mashed down a little bit, you can't get it into the tool. So we're going to do switch points. So we're going to put the rail into the tool in the end mark point. Uh, this will do left and right hand switch points. We need a left and right hand for, for each turnout. So what we want to do is uh, the left switch point. So uh, this slides into the tool like that. I'm going to be filing off this side of the rail. So it's going to leave a taper on the point. So that's the correct size for uh, uh, that's the correct side for doing this stock rail. Okay, we're just going to slide the uh, the rail into the into the tool and get it set, uh, get it ready for filing. Now the amount that you have it protruding, um, it's it's quite important. If you have it sticking way out like that, when you file one, it's going to be bending the rail over, and it's going to leave you a really long, thin piece of rail that's not going to be very stable. Where you want the rail to come out is to about there. So when you file it off, the edge of your point is going to be on the edge of the inside of the rail. And I'll just do that again. What I usually do is I, I stick it out and then back it up like that. There. I want to be able to see the whole head of the rail. We're looking down on top of it. We're seeing the, uh, we're seeing the head of the rail here. So once more we're out and just back it up to there. And I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on it with my thumb and lock it in place. Oops, moved it. Okay, we're tying it. Like that. I like to hold it in with my thumb up against the side. Make sure it's sticking out the right amount. Tighten it up with an Allen wrench. This is the Allen wrench that, uh, that comes with the, with the tool. Now when you tighten it, you know, you just, just snug it on one end. Snug it on the other end. Go back to the first one. Tighten a little more. Tighten a little bit more. Um, you don't want to you don't want to crush it. You don't want to tighten it really hard. Um, you just want it so it can't move. And by going back and forth the way I do, if I had to tighten this end tight down here, when I tighten this end down, it would actually be coming down like like a like a shear like that. It would actually crush the end of the rail. So you just snug it a little bit back and forth two three times. And that's uh, that's properly placed and ready to file off. Okay, we got this clamped in place and we're ready to uh, start filing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to file this off completely flush with the edge of the tool. So I'm going to file down the full length of the tool and towards the end of the rail. I don't want to start, I don't want to file into the end of the rail because it'll it'll catch on the end of the file and it may have want to bend the end of the rail. You just file like that. Nice long strokes. Um, I'm cutting the full length of the tool. Uh, if you file just like this down at one end, you're going to start to wear the tool in one spot. So by filing this way, the tool is going to wear equally along its length. It takes a little bit more filing with the uh, with the switch points than it does with the frog points because there's just, there's a, it's a longer angle, so there's more rail to remove. And as you're filing, you can you'll you'll feel a difference between filing the the rail and uh, in the edge of the tool as it gets through the the rail and onto the tool it will start to skip across the edge because it's a harder material and I can tell just by the feel after you do a few you'll catch on to that 
that it's done, that there's nothing left to file off there. You can see where that's uh, it's completely flush with the edge of the tool. So that switch point's, point's finished and ready to come out, uh, come out of the tool. I'll just loosen these off here and pop it out and have a look. There's a nice, nice sharp switch point. Nice, nice uh, consistent taper all the way down the edge. So there's our switch point. Uh, the filing is complete. You can see it's got a nice, nice flat taper on it. Um, I like to clean it up a little bit just with my fingernail. Like sometimes you get a little bit of a burl on the bottom, and you just just knock it off like that. Now you notice uh, occasionally, depending on how far out of the tool the point was uh, sitting, the end will be a little weak. See how I can actually bend that, and that's that's not going to be suitable. Um, you want that you want nice strong material. So what I do is I uh, I just bend it with my finger until until it stops bending. So what I've done is I've, I've bent as far as the weak material is. And I just take the uh, take my rail cutters and I'm just going to nip I'm just going to nip that off there like that. So now what's left is all the nice solid material. Um, when I cut with that uh, rail cutter, it left a little bit of a little bit of a burr on there. It's a little bit mashed. So I'm just going to take the file and just knock that off. There we go. That's nice clean end on there. And that's all that you have to do um, on the filing. We're ready now to do a test fit and see how it fits in uh, in our fixture. Okay, with the filing done, I'm just going to put the uh, put the rail into the fixture. Um, the stock rail is already sitting in place. And I'm just going to lay it in and do a test to see how, uh, how well it turned out. So I'm just going to slide it forward to the end of the throw bar. And you can see how it's a nice, nice fit down in here. Nice and sharp. And that's exactly what you want. So when the wheels come across here, there's, they're not going to catch and not going to bump on anything. Um, it, it, part of the uh, turnout uh, fit um, process at the end of construction is we'll file a little bit of the inside of the head of the point off. And I'll cover that in more detail in, a, in another video.